where a section of Kenya Ports Authority employees and businessmen are complaining that one of the contractors has resorted or rather resorted to providing drinking water from the borehole. Now they claim that this is contrary to a previous agreement and this comes just two days after the county government of Mombasa banned the hawking of drinking water and water from boreholes as well. Let's now bring in Francis Mtalaki to get more details. Francis, good morning. How serious are these complaints by these employees? Have they gone to the police? Um, have they, do they have proof? What sort of tangible proof are they presenting as they make these complaints? Yes, from the post that uh, we're receiving from the post authority is that a uh, section of uh, uh, employees have raised concern because uh, the water that they were supplied used to be uh, coming from a company that uh, uh, one of the companies that was uh, given a tender to supply water at the port of Mombasa. But then we understand that the machine that we were using uh, uh, broke down. And so they were unable to supply adequate water for over 7,000 employees that work uh, at the port of Mombasa, as well as a number of businessmen that uh, trade at the port of Mombasa to make sure that the activities and uh, operations at the port of Mombasa are, uh, are going in a smooth manner. But uh, the reports that we are receiving currently is that uh, the water that most of the employees are, are taking from the port of Mombasa is coming from the borehole and so this has raised uh, uh, concern from the both the employees and uh, the businessmen but I have a number of businessmen who work from the port of Mombasa probably can engage him in this conversation um tueleze labda hizi wasiwasi zinatokana nani maji haya labda yanatoka upande gani ni ni quite unfortunate manake ile ile maji company inaleta hapa KPA ambao hapa wali walikuwa na supply ambao ndio watu kona hapa I want to supply clean, fresh water. Lakini today on a jambo la mana sana KPA ku purify maji ya bari. It was a good idea. Lakini tumegundua kwamba it was like a scado. Maneke imegeuka kuwa ile 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 purify ile maji walikuwa na purify. It is no longer there. Right now, hiyo kampu na mbao sayeme kuwa inetua tenda ya kupeleka maji KPA. Inachukua maji kwa ganjoni. Maji ya chumvi ambao hygienically kwa kwa staff wa KPA ni hatari sana ni it's so bad yaweza kuwaletea magonjwa at the expense of only one foreigner ambaye amepewa hiyo tenda ambaye hiyo tenda atujui ilipatikana vipi na atukuhusishwa na hiyo tenda pia gari za KPA pia zinachukua maji hapa ganjoni gari za huyu tenda pia huyu huyu nafikiri msomali zinachukua hiyo maji hapa ganjoni maji ya chumvi kwenda kwa Kenya Ports Authority which is too bad ambao tu ulo kweli italeta magonjwa mengi na tunafaa ulo kweli maji iwe clean and fresh to avoid any 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 kind of sickness ama ugonjwa kutoka watu wa KPA. Nanyi kama wafanyabiashara na wale ambao mnafanya kazi katika bandari ya Mombasa labda mmeripoti swala hili na kwa KPA pamoja na wahusika? Hatutaki kuonekana wasama lakini tumepiga simu kwa Minister of Transport lakini pia all together hatutaki kuonyesha kama tunapinga tunapinga bila anaendelea pale. The fact of the matter tunahitaji vile vile tuko tupeleka maji ya fresh water huyu aliyokuwa sasa aliopewa yeye pekee aka supply kinyume na wale walikuwa sita wapewe at least ajulishwe kama Kenya kama KPA authority wamsimami wamuonyeshe awezekani kuchukua maji ya boho kwenda kuwapeleka staff wa KPA labda kisunga hapa karibu tueleze athari iko wapi ya kuweza kutumia maji haya ya bohol hususan wakati ambapo mvua imekuwa ikinyesha ukiangalia ma, ma, Mombasa iko na shida ya, ya maji uh, fresh kwa hivyo ukiwa utachukua maji ya kisima wakati wa mvua kama wakati huu uh, definitely sio rahisi ama sio mzuri uh, but overall what we say is that when uh, KPA replaced us uh, the, the idea was they were going to do a desalination plant and uh, we did accept that a good uh, 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 product give way to a better product so we, we thought that uh, desalination was better but what we are seeing today is different because we used to take fresh water from uh, other sources but now they're just taking uh, bottled water uh, which is uh, a reversal of uh, what they had promised Thank you so much. Well, uh, the, from Mombasa, many of the residents uh, prefer borehole water because of uh, the scarcity of water because the county of Mombasa uh, receives water from three counties, that is Kwale, Taita Taveta, as well as Kilifi County. But uh, this water 
is not sufficient to everyone. But the county government of Mombasa, in terms of their long long term plans, they in, in, intend uh, to use the the, uh, the, 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 technolo the technology to make sure that uh, it can be able to uh, purify water from the Indian Ocean, and uh, that is a plan from the county government of Mombasa. But currently, it seems to be water is uh, very scarce, scarce in terms of uh, the demand that is there from the county government from the from the residents of Mombasa. But as you have heard from some of the operations, uh, some of the businesses that operate uh, for the port of Mombasa, it seems to be a growing concern. And from Mombasa County, we now go for a short commercial break, but more news after this, after the break.